Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tech de Monterrey. Uh, we are celebrating our 80th anniversary uh, this uh, we, this month, <laughs> actually, and we are welcoming you to this uh, second Congress and Conference on Advanced Material and Additive Manufacturing from the Institute of Advanced Material for Sustainable Manufacturing. I hope that you have really some of you were able to participate on our uh, opening of the, our core lab on additive manufacturing yesterday at the, our building at the pit. And I hope that you enjoyed yesterday panel also for the industries because it was really an excellent uh, uh, panel and, and we could identify the opportunities that we can have as working together, government, industry, and academy. And for those who were not able to be uh, yesterday in our uh, inauguration of the core lab, we have to present a video, if you have the video ready. And let's go and see the video. Thank you very much. This year, as part of the second international conference, the Institute for Advanced Materials for Sustainable Manufacturing at Tecnológico de Monterrey is launching its core lab in additive manufacturing. Its objectives include promoting and developing research and technology transfer activities in the fields of additive manufacturing and Industry 4.0, driving innovation, fostering the creation of technology-based companies, strengthening the supply chain and encouraging nearshoring in Northeastern Mexico, training highly specialized human capital in additive manufacturing techniques conducting component design, simulation, validation, and experimental process analysis. Estas tecnologías apoyan a la transformación al mundo sustentable y además es la ruta para continuar impulsando la innovación y las disrupciones tecnológicas que la sociedad demanda. Nuestro Core Lab cuenta con equipos de nueva generación que cumplen con las más altas certificaciones y regulaciones que permiten aumentar la productividad de diferentes industrias como salud, aeronáutica y automotriz. We have advanced GE additive equipment to produce functional prototypes, utilizing direct metal laser melting technology, delivering high precision and mechanical properties. The Additive Manufacturing Core Lab aims to establish itself as a global reference in research and development of materials and prototypes. It also seeks to establish a technological ecosystem amongst industry, research centers, universities, and end users to accelerate innovation and industrial scalability. Well, you could see that we were very excited, you know, about our collab facilities and so on, and also our work with the industry and, al and also the capacity that we have to train our students and our PhD students, postdocs, on this new technology, and also to identify the opportunities of chaining uh, uh, the manufacturing into a more sustainable manufacturing process using this type of technologies. Also, uh, the institute was created one year ago, and we launched the first conference last year, and now, after one year, we realize that it's very, very important, again, to really share with the industry, with the students, with the society, what we can do to create a better world, to create a more sustainable world. And we think that if we work in the area of materials and we work in the area of manufacturing process, we really can make the difference. And we have prepared today a very exciting uh, program. Uh, we invite people from our uh, international collaboration universities University of Alberta, University uh, of Najan, uh, University of uh, País Vasco. Uh, so we really, at uh, Southwest Research Institute, and also all the companies that have been working and working with us in this new initiative of mass adding manufacturing. So we are really, really happy to, to present this program. Somebody asked me, what is the purpose of, of, of this Congress? One is to really review the state of the art of what we are doing in mass, uh, in, in materials and, and mass uh, adding manufacturing. But also it's important to have this network between academia, uh, uh, government, and, and industry to try to identify how we can move faster into the use of this technology to really make a difference in the world. 
And last but not least, uh, we believe that this is very, very important for us to really share what our researchers are doing. So we prepare also a very specific panel with our women in science uh, uh, researchers at the Institute so they can share what they are doing in, in their research. And I think that's very, very important for us. And uh, we are going to show another video that they prepare about uh, the Congress and about the Institute of Advanced Materials. Thank you. Let's go and see the video, please. The manufacturing industry is fundamental to the Mexican economy, but it continues to be one of the industries with the highest emissions of greenhouse gases, which impacts the environment and contribute to climate change. Our goal at the Institute of Advanced Materials for Sustainable Manufacturing, part of Tecnológico de Monterrey, is to promote a sustainable production model that reduces carbon emissions and enables this positive impact on the ecosystem. One year into its inception, at the Institute, we have undertaken collaborative and interdisciplinary work with a team comprising nine research units, consisting of 24 professors and 21 postdoctoral researchers. We have successfully generated high-impact scientific and technological solutions to address a wide range of projects. Some of the research projects we have developed include the multi-purpose robotic platform, a robotic device with artificial intelligence systems, reconfigurable micromachine tool, the Observatory of Sustainable Manufacturing Industries, an innovative technology for carbon dioxide reduction. These achievements are made possible by a multidisciplinary team dedicated to seeking innovative solutions in science and technology, benefiting industries such as manufacturing, automotive, aerospace, food, and more. Over this past year, we have conducted activities that have been instrumental in sharing knowledge and building strong collaboration networks, monthly research seminars, visits and dialogues with industry leaders, our inaugural first international conference. Now, this year, our second international conference will focus on additive manufacturing revolutionary technologies that build objects layer by layer. We aim not only to promote global collaboration, but also opportunities for exploration and advancement will be provided. With all of this, we strengthen our commitment to research for developing new materials and innovative sustainable production processes that, in the future, will emerge as alternatives to the conventional materials currently in use. In this way, we contribute to reducing carbon emissions in traditional production systems within the industry in Mexico and around the world. Our mission is clear, to drive innovation and sustainability in manufacturing. At the Institute of Advanced Materials for Sustainable Manufacturing, we are building a legacy of change. Thank you. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I will ask uh, Dr. Uh, Guillermo Torre, our Vice President of Research and Rector of TechSalud, to address you and uh, open the, this Congress. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and uh, thanks, Arturo, for these videos that are very informative and, and also for organizing this event and for all this hard work for this past year. I was sitting here next to Roberto and I said, you know, time flies. And it was just, seemed like it was yesterday that we were here. And so I'd like to take a few moments to share with you what is it that we are trying to do at Tech de Monterrey in research and that led us to the creation of the institutes. As you all know, Tech de Monterrey has had a very strong tradition in education. I think uh, the world looked at Tech de Monterrey as an extraordinary university and it, mainly for the capacity that we have over the past 80 years today to be an active participant in the formation of, of students and at different levels. And research has been a component of what we've done at Tech de Monterrey for many years. But perhaps over the last 20 years, with the creation of first the cathedras and then a renew emphasis in research, we have accelerated our efforts in research. A few years ago, and with the direction of David Garza, who's our president and rector, we've established a new commitment to do more significant research. And, and we sat together and 
and we develop a strategy to come up with what we now call science in action. And the research that we are doing in many different areas, like the Monterey, has the objective not only to produce papers, to create knowledge, but, just, but to make it a reality. And, and we are creating a concept that's not unique to us, but we've sort of, we've adapted that and, and we made our own, this idea that science has to be actionable. And science is complex and, and to do research is difficult and it's more difficult to do it in Mexico for those of you that are visiting us from other places, but um, we believe that institutions like ours have a responsibility to advance knowledge, not, also, not only to reproduce knowledge. And we want to create a, a, a significant value in the areas that we are going to invest heavily in research. And in our efforts to decide what are the areas that we believe are very significant and that we can contribute in a meaningful way, we chose three major areas of research. One is to try to build in the future of education because we dedicated eight years of our existence to advance education and I think we've been innovators in different aspects. So we created the Institute for the Future of Education that has agglomerated a variety of scientists from Mexico, from Latin America, and, and we're expanding, and with the objective of transforming the future of education. Then we also looked at what other strengths do we have at Tech de Monterrey, and what real problems are needing new solutions. And we figure that in Mexico, and but it is also truthful for many advanced countries, certainly in North America, that the problem of food and, and obesity and the metabolic consequences of those problems are a great problem that needs solutions. And it is not a medical institute, but we build the Institute for Obesity Research with multidisciplinary approaches to try to solve the problem from a different a variety of perspectives to try to come up with better foods, with public policy, certainly with alternatives for the treatment of, of the metabolic problems associated with the problem of obesity. And lastly, and it's probably what brings us today, we all want to live in a, in a country that's more sustainable. We want zero emissions. And in order to do that, we need better materials. And manufacturing is part of what's now building the new Mexico. And, and all this concept of nearshoring has put Tec de Monterrey and northern Mexico, and Mexico in general, in the forefront of manufacturing. But we want to do that in a more intelligent way that's been in the past. And we want to create solutions that are really helping us to create a sustainable environment. So that is the creation of the Third Institute that we inaugurated last year. And the Institute of Advanced Materials for Sustainable Manufacturing, I think, is one in which we will create this multidisciplinary effort to try to come up with better materials, better solutions for the manufacturing plants in the fields that Arturo described here before. So I think that this scenario creates a platform for Tech de Monterrey to come up not only with knowledge creation, which is important, not only with papers or not only with ideas or, or pat, pat, patents that may eventually become industry, but we really want to create actionable solutions to the problems of education, to the metabolic problems associated with obesity, and in this particular case, real solutions for a world that needs decarbonization, that needs to create manufacturing with zero emissions. So I think that is the, the just of, of what we're doing here today. Tech de Monterrey is committed to solve problems, and in that process also to establish a mechanism for individuals that are aspiring to become scientists to have spaces where that can where, where we can do that there is a a question that arises in in private universities across mexico and it is why a university like ours should invest in in fundamental research and the answer for us is very simple we want to do fundamental research that answers problems. And we call that science, we want science to be actionable. 
So we believe it's important, and it's important because in the process of doing that, we're also going to create the best strategy for education. So if we achieve to create the best educational institution, we need to have science as a part of the creation of knowledge and also the transmission of knowledge. That spirit of innovation is what we're doing here today. And I think that is really important. It is also important in an environment of Mexico today where there is lack of investment, where people sometimes don't value science, that there are institutions like ours that despite the complexity that it is to create science, that we build the spirit of scientific achievement, not only in the faculty, but also in the students. I think that that is the spark that will create and lead to innovation and new solutions in general. So I think that we are committed and we will continue to be committed to the development of science, the formation of young students to develop careers in science, and we are creating also spaces to recruit faculty with the purpose of, of promoting science and to develop science in Mexico and at Tec de Monterrey. So I'd like to also take the opportunity to thank you, Arturo, and all your colleagues for the efforts this past year for the organization of this particular Congress today, which is really important and we value greatly at Tec de Monterrey, and also thank our speakers that come from different places of the world. I know it's always hard and difficult, and you come today to Monterrey in a time that, that we're still battling the heat, but um, we hope that you have a good experience and not only enjoy our campus, but also enjoy our city. And without any further ado, on uh, this Thursday, September 21st, I formally now declare the opening of the second International Congress of Advanced Materials and Additive Manufacturing. And once again, I welcome everyone, and I hope to all, to, to all of you that you have a very productive day and, and that many ideas will come from here that will spark the interest to do novel projects and better interaction between industry, universities, and also the government. Thank you, and you all have a very good day today.